I have everything you can think of. Dinnerware made centuries ago, glass ornaments, even manuscripts from well-known artists. Or maybe you want to see something else, miss? Then do you just want that book in your hand? It's a rare book. In all my years, I've only ever seen the copy in your hand. A young person? You're the only customer I've had since I opened the shop this morning. No problem. Though, have you paid attention to the weather? It might rain today. Don't stay outside for too long. She seems like a good kid. Yeah. And she's the kind of good kid you like, too. I already checked the luggage upstairs for you. Everything should be good to go. I see you're trying to change the subject. <sighs> she doesn't understand me. She thinks she does, but... I told you before that you didn't need to see me. Everything's almost packed up. I can move out tonight. But I didn't sell the house you lived in back then. I'm keeping it for you. Rest assured, you don't have to worry about anything here. I just stopped by to see you. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'll be more careful about not revealing my whereabouts. Maybe there'll be a day when I move into your neighborhood. You can do that right now. Talia and I will take care of you. Haven't we spent enough time together? I'd rather enjoy some time alone. Never mind. Is there anything else that needs to be packed? Mo in Lemurian means motherland. Bingo. Sorry for the wait. This dessert place had a lot, and I mean a lot of ice cream flavors. I just chose my favorite for you. Try it. Have you thought of our next destination? The art museum closest to us right now has the world's famous Birth in the Oceans. Let's go there first. After the museum tour, we can head straight to the famous square by walking down this path for a bit. If you get tired of walking, we can visit a nearby bike rental to get a tandem bicycle. Hmm, the theater is definitely worth visiting, but we didn't make a reservation in advance. We'll have to try our luck. Why are you looking at me like that? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just happened to live here before.
Since it's the last day of our trip, you should let me do the planning, you know? I figured us riding together on the streets would undoubtedly put the spotlight on us. It's been a while since I rode a bike. Can't we start with something simple and ease our way into doing more difficult things? I still think that having your feet on the ground is safer. Just saying. Or we should at least ride a tandem bike together. Take this path we're walking, for example. I've walked down it for three years. There was someone else with me at the time, an old butler. Yeah. Follow me. The life I spoke of is a lot like theirs. It's not as special as you imagine it to be. It was always finishing my coursework on time, visiting my favorite art exhibitions when I was free, and going to a random theater every night. Stop looking at me like that. You know, I learned a lot in your human world. As a matter of fact, I was the youngest student for that academic year. Only students who are about to graduate wear those. It's a distant memory from a very long time ago. We can't. I'm not really into making friends at every stage of my life. Like back then, I preferred to be alone and indulge in my own thoughts. Here, summer is long, hot, but not stifling. The air is tinged with the scent of ripe fruit. I'd be willing to spend a whole afternoon in this place just to remember the name of a flower or a bird.
Yeah, you should have. Yeah, the first time I sat here, watching people come and go, I was jealous of them. The sights and sounds, and the food too, are worth taking the time to appreciate, but those people didn't even spare a second glance. The apple blossoms, lemongrass, butterflies fluttering over hilltops, and lemon yellow robin beaks, there are countless ceiling frescoes and works of art everywhere, and the small theaters have performed plays for hundreds of years. Yet because people have grown used to them always being there, they're taken for granted. Eventually, I made myself forget about that unhappiness you mentioned. I embraced your human lifestyle. Then what does that make you? I'm not that naive. These experiences and feelings, maybe I made them up to deceive you. Why? It's raining. Let's head inside. It doesn't usually rain cats and dogs around this time. Eh, it's getting worse. I'm wondering if writing something like how to care for a Lemurian would be easier, or would it be quicker to tell you a thousand and one Lemurian stories? Guess who's the one that falls into a trap without realizing it? You can be my caretaker, and I can tell you a thousand and one stories. I'm okay with every choice you provide. <coughs> but you should take a hot bath first, or else you'll catch a cold. Me to stay. Do you really want to know? fall in love with someone, all our senses are committed to perceive them without question. Your way of triggering my senses has only touched the surface. Are all 
humans idiots? Someone's intentions are as clear as day. Only because you're the one doing it. So, what's in that book? Like... It's nothing. I'm wondering, if I actually told you stories about Lemuria, a thousand and one nights wouldn't be enough for that. Do you want me to tell you? Then tonight, allow me to share with you the first story. Our story begins with the very first sea god, long, long ago. Everything's packed up. We should get going. Maybe they don't do anything. They're just waiting for summer to end. You were imagining things. <laughs> 